most math books are written to be correct, not to teach. They are written to show the math in the most correct, clear way possible. Now, this is not true for all books. There are some books out there that are created with the intention of self-study to help you learn, but that is not the majority. Most math courses oftentimes are taught the same way. Math courses are taught by people and people have pride, they have ego. A lot of times, not always, it's all about being correct. It's about showing how much math they know. But not all math courses are that way. In this video, I'm gonna give you some resources that you can use that were created for people who want to learn math. They were created in such a way that they're easy. They're easy on purpose. The whole point of these resources is that you can use them to learn math. So it's almost like they don't want you to learn math this way, but I'm going to show you how you can with these resources. So first we're going to look at books. The books are special. They're all priced in multiples of pi. You can check out my merch or merc. Is it merch or is it merc? I think it's merch in any video. And let's take a look at the books. All right, so here are all the books and all of these books or most of them have been slightly revised. So if you check any of these books out, a lot of times you'll notice that the covers are a little bit different. If you've purchased any of these books in the past, don't worry about buying them again. Um, the changes aren't worth spending the money twice, you know. So if you already own the book, don't worry about buying it again, you know. Um, the changes are just so small, but mostly it's like artwork and a couple of minor things. So I'm going to take my time and we're going to go through all of these books. Before I forget though, courses, if you want to learn math through courses, I have books. Go to my website. They're on Udemy, but use my links. I've got courses on way more advanced stuff. So what's the difference between books and courses? These courses are college level for the most part. Um, they cover way more content than the books. They are way more comprehensive. Please use the links from my website if you get my courses. They're all on Udemy, which is a reputable place, but use my links, check them out. All right, so let's go through the books. I have them in order here. So the first one or the first two are kind of like a, a series. And these are algebra books. So like if you're in high school and you're trying to learn, um, these are perfect. If you're in college and you're trying to learn, these are perfect. So what makes these books special, what makes all of these books special is again, they're built to teach. They're built for learning. They have full solutions, as you can see, to every single exercise and every single example in the book. So there's, there's, and there's no mistakes, right? There are zero mistakes in these books. If you find a mistake, contact me, but I haven't, well, I have found mistakes and I fixed them. So there should be no mistakes in these books. Here's a quick look at the algebra contents so you can see um, all the stuff it contains. And this has a lot of word problems in it because you do word problems in college algebra. I've taught college algebra. I've taught a lot of college courses. So a lot of these are based off of, actually all of these are based off of things I've taught. So yeah, lots of content here, quadratic equations, inequalities, word problems, equations. And you can see you have full solutions to everything. This one's very similar. Okay, very similar prop, a book. Let me show you the contents really quick. This one, we'll get to some of the more interesting ones. I mean, these are interesting. These are good for beginners, right? These are people who don't, or for people who don't know any math at all. This one's mostly on functions. And again, it's got, and lines and stuff. Here's some stuff with the difference quotient. So if you're taking, or if you're gonna be taking calculus, this will help you in calculus. And again, I have the courses, like my college algebra course has more content than both of these books combined. But this has more examples, right? And so, I don't know, I like books. I feel like they're special. You can have them forever. This one's been redone a little bit. I redid the cover, made it a little cooler. Um, so this one has pre-calc topics. It's called Pre-Calculus for Legends. It's got synthetic division. It's got some exponential equations and logarithms. 
properties of logs, solving logarithmic equations, matrix operations, partial fractions, and then some sequence stuff. And again, as you can see, everything is worked out in detail, right? So you've got full solutions to everything. I'll go quickly because otherwise the video will be 20 hours long. This one's interesting because it's got calculus. It's called superpowered calculus, and it has all three limits, derivatives, and integrals. This is the one that people will buy the most. I have other calculus books, but this is the one people buy the most. Is this the best one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it is. I have no opinion on that because this one doesn't have content that some of the other ones have, right? They all have different content. So this has limits, derivatives, the really basic stuff, right? Like product quotient and chain, and then basic integration. It doesn't have all the advanced integration stuff, but it's got a lot, right? And it's got, again, full solutions to every single example and exercise and no mistakes. These books have no mistakes. I wanna emphasize that. I have checked over this. You can see all the scratching and this book has been revised multiple times, right? There's no, no mistakes in this book. These two go together kind of. Um, these also now have different covers. I've redone these. These are a little bit thicker, especially Calculus Beta. It's a thick, it's a thick book. Look at that. It's thick. Um, calculus Alpha and Calculus Beta. These are more sophisticated, and they cover, like, limits and then derivatives, but more in depth. All right, let me just show you. So this one has some preliminary content first, and then it goes into limits. And it's all limits, right? It even has some Calc 3 in there, like, very little, but, I mean, it does have Calc 3. And technically, that is Calc 2, limits of sequences, right? So... And you can see the problems are a little more sophisticated. Uh, it's got some squeeze theorem proofs in here and stuff. So very, very detailed uh, mathematics, no mistakes, maybe some formulas you've never seen before. You know, some kind of, it's kind of cool. These are problems meant to get you to learn math. Books, I keep saying problems. Books meant you to get to learn math right away. Calculus beta is on derivatives. This one's all on derivatives, as you can see. It's all derivatives, just derivative craziness. And it does have some Calc 3 in there as well. You see at the end here, vector valued functions, partial derivatives, and the total differential. And again, full solutions to everything. This one's really thick. It's, it's one of my thickest books. This is my most advanced calculus book. It's not, an, it's not an advanced calculus book, but it is a calculus book that is more advanced than the other ones. This one has some interesting topics. It basically has integral calculus, and then, it, and then it has differential equations. So this one's different because, you know, it starts with the basics of integration, but then it jumps to differential equations. The differential equation stuff is pretty, it, it's a big leap, okay? It's still easy, but like, you know, it's, it's pretty detailed, right? So it's a big leap in difficulty. Um, I spent a lot of time on this section here, actually, exact differential equations, like rewriting this and trying to like, really trying to explain why the method works, you know, because I feel like a lot of books, they don't really explain it that well. And I'm not saying this one does an amazing job, <laughs> but I'm hoping it does, right? I certainly made the effort uh, to um, explain it well, but I give you different solution techniques, which is something that other books don't do. So you'll have two different ways of solving exact equations, which is kind of nice. So uh, you might see some stuff you've never seen and plenty of integration, right? And it's got some harder integration topics. These two are kind of oddball books. This one's just like a basic book on basic math, core math skills. Let me just show you. This one just has like random basic mathematics. It's not even college algebra. It's just like basic stuff, right? Like one-step equations, two-step equations, inequalities, mon monomials, exponents, radicals. So really, really basic mathematics, core math skills. This is like very, very beginner. And then this is an entire book on fractions. Both of these books have been redone slightly. This is just an entire book on fractions. So like if you're trying to learn how to add, subtract, multiply fractions, this should help you. And then this one is my most advanced book currently. This one is uh, on proofs. It's on how to write proofs. It's called Mathematical Proofs for Beginners. Uh, it's my smallest book. Look how small it is. It's like, a, it's like a flyer. Now it's a little bit thicker than a flyer, but it basically covers direct proofs. Dedicated this to my friend Steve. Direct proofs, contrapositive and contradiction. And then... Uh, a mix of the proofs and it has full solutions to every example and exercise um, it gets you to write proofs right away it skips all of the preliminaries that you're supposed to learn my goal was just to get you to do proofs right away day one let's go let's get started right now 
do some proofs. So all these books can help you learn math. And again, they're very non-traditional. These are not, you can, I call them books. They're, I mean, I guess they're textbooks, but they're not like, here, it's not like this book here, right? You can't really compare um, this book here by Adkins and Weintraub to any of my books, right? This is a graduate level book anyways, but the amount of material in a book like this is not comparable. These are workbooks in some sense. They are meant to get you to learn math right, right away. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful. I just wanted to show you a really easy way to learn math. You can learn math so easily with these books because you can just start doing math right away. You pick up a pencil, pick up a piece of paper, and start doing mathematics. Same with the courses. Check them out if you want. Again, but the courses, um, I mean, the courses are great. The courses have more content than the books. I just like books better. But yeah, get both if you want. I hope it's been helpful. Stay strong, my friends.